Hey Total MTG fans, it's Matt here and today I'm going to be cracking a fat pack from Magic Origins. Um, I'm going to run through them pretty quickly because the set's been out for a couple of weeks now but as there is a Pro Tour on this weekend I thought I'd crack one of these and hopefully get some of the cards that they are all playing with. The new Jace Planeswalker scene is very popular and the there's a lot of mono red decks out there. Also the Languish seems to be being used quite a lot. So in the fat pack we get a nice little guide, player's guide. And you always get some kind of backdrop on the on the card there. So you can just about see it. it's a bit out of focus, but there's a side angle of it. So let's get cracking into this fat pack. So there's the lovely boosters. You get a couple of um, deck boxes as well. And this is always good for use for a storage counter for your cards. So let's start cracking. Get a nice little dice. And you always get a pack of land as well in the fat packs. Which always comes in, you can never have enough land. So. Here we go. Start cracking the first pack. Get in there. Like I said, I'm just going to get to the juicy cards. Going to flash through the commons. See if there's anything that sticks out in there. So, on to the uncommons. We get a Consecrated Blood. Gold Forge Sentinel. A Malikar Coal Blade and the rare, oh, Chandra's Ignition, not too bad. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to each other creature and opponents. And do we get a foil? No, nice foil. And we get one land. So that is the first rare. On to the second pack. Come on. Here we go. So I'm going to start from the back this time. Planes and no token. So whiz through these commons. Onto the young commons. Got Ravaging Blaze. Sylvan Messenger. Reclusive Artificer. And a Gideon's Phalanx, which seems very expensive, costs seven. You get four white one creature, four two two white knight creature tokens into battle with vigilance. If there are two or more uh, instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, creatures you go gain indestructible to end a turn. So, possibly an EDH card. Can't ever see that making constructive standard. Myself. Not a card that I'd use anyway. So, let's flash on to the next pack. Flash through the commons. Titanic growth. Right, here we go. Let's just take these two back ones. Oh. Token, lovely. And a forest. Right. On to the uncommon. So we have a Tormented Thoughts. Hydro Slash. A Gemin Die Tome. Probably butchered that name. And we have, oh, a nice card. Herald of the Pantheon. Um, I like this card. I like enchantment decks. I've built one, so this would come very handy for my enchantment deck. Um, lets you cast them for one less car, uh, one less, and when you cast them, you gain a life when you cast an enchantment. So that's a pretty sweet card. Still, I wouldn't mind pulling a Languish or any of the Planeswalkers, to be honest. Preferably a Jace. So we get a Thopter and a Mountain. So we'll whiz through these in Shrouding Mist. That's quite a good card for limit construct limited. Sorry, not constructed. Can't speak today. Right, we got a Whirler Rogue. Clash of the Wheels. Been seen used in the in the Pro Tour this weekend. In um, I think it was Soul Tie Control or Blue Black Control, one or the other. They did run some Clash of the Wheels. Knightly Valor, and the rare is Sigil of the Empty Throne. Um, Good for an enchantment EDH deck, I reckon. Maybe see standard play, possibly, but we're not too sure on that. Uh, when you cast enchantment, you put a four-four white angel into toe play, so it's it's not you know it's not poor. It's quite a good card. 
And we get a foil high claw recluse. So on to the love. packs of five. Here we go. Five left to go. Let's get cracking, guys. So go through these commons. Smash the smithereens, good card, used in modern. Elvish visionary as well. So we go on to the young commons. So we have a brawler's plate. Angel's Tomb, all, all artifacts in the Uncommons, this one, Ram Roller, and the Rare, oh, a lovely card, I really like this card, Sword of Animist, um, Legendary Artifact, Quick Tree gets 1-1, one, one. and when it attacks you may search for a basic land and put it into tapped, so a very good card, uh, Mountain and no foil, so, yeah, Sword of Animist, very good card, so, let's get on to another pack, Go from the back. Mountain. Right, here we go. Another in Shadow Mist. The old and the gate. Titan Strength. So on to the Uncommons. We have Whirler Rogue. Gets the old Thopters out. Blood Curse Knight. A Bounding Crassus. And the rare. A hey, Yavamar Coastland, very nice. Oh, it looks like we've got a foil. That's a foil forest. So we've got two lands in that one. Yavamar Forest, good little land there, pain land. On to the next pack. Gonna whiz through these cards, guys. So we do that and that. Right. Mike the Masses enjoyed that card in draft. It was a very good card for me. Go to the Uncommons, here we go. So we've got a Runner's Champion, Citadel Castellian. It's one of the cards from the new Jewel decks. Uh, Shaman of the Pack, and the rare, Grave Blade Marauder, 1-4 uh, Death Touch. When it does combat to a player, that player loses life equals number of creature cards in your graveyard. So good in some kind of graveyard themed deck. So we're down to our last two. Packs, guys. No Planeswalker yet. Pulled a nice Herald of Pantheon. That was quite cool. Sword of Amethyst. I like that card as well. So we pulled a couple of nice packs. Cards. Here we go. Right. Go through these commons. The bigs love another Might of Masses. Evolving Wilds. Right. On to the Uncommons. Here we go. Swift Reckoning. Valor of Acris, another enchantment. Uh, when a creature enters the battlefield, creature control get plus one to end a turn. A Sentinel of the Eternal Watch, and we get another pain land. Get a battlefield forge. So we're doing alright for lands. Down to the last pack, guys. Here we go. Will it be lucky? Will it be lucky? No token. We get a swamp. Right, the old big ox, Titan Strength, read the bones. So we go to the uncommons. We got Ravaging Blaze, Acolyte of the Inferno, probably butchered that one. Another Flesh Bag Marauder, and the final rare is a Scab Clan Berserker. Um, 2 2 with haste, it's got renowned. When opponent costs on creature spell, it deals 2 damage to that player. Cost 3, possibly mighty play, but I do not think it's the constructed play, really. I don't think the mono red decks were running it in there, you know, it's just a bit too slow um, for them decks. Um, all in all, it wasn't a bad fat pack, wasn't the greatest, didn't pull any of the planeswalkers, did get a couple of nice pain lands. I'm um, happy getting about Sword of Animist and a Herald of Pantheon. And I might put, you know, probably use the Signal of the Empty Throne in an EDH deck. Something like that. But it was just a quick fat pack because the set's already open, so it didn't need me explaining all those commons or anything like that. I just want to see if we pull some juicy rares. Missed all the Mythics, missed all the Planeswalkers, but hey, you can't pull brilliant cards in every pack that you buy. But all in all, it's pretty nice. Got some nice cards. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that, it was just a quick little fat pack opening, and I will see you guys soon. Cheers guys!